Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. After he begot Arphaxad, Shem lived 500 years and begot sons and daughters. Arphaxad lived 35 years and begot Selah. After he begot Selah, Arphaxad lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Selah lived thirty years, and begot Eber. After he begot Eber, Selah lived four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. Eber lived thirty-four years, and begot Peleg. After he begot Peleg, Eber lived four hundred and thirty years, and begot sons and daughters. Peleg lived thirty years, and begot Riu. After he begot Riu, Peleg lived two hundred and nine years, and begot sons and daughters. Riu lived thirty-two years, and begot Sirag. After he begot Sirag, Riu lived two hundred and seven years, and begot sons and daughters. Sirag lived thirty years, and begot Nehor. After he begot Nahor, Sirag lived two hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. Nahor lived twenty-nine years, and begot Tira. After he begot Tira, Nahor lived one hundred and nineteen years, and begot sons and daughters. Now Tira lived seventy years, and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. This is the genealogy of Tira. Tira begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Haran begot Lot, and Haran died before his father, Tira, in his native land, in Ur of the Chaldeans. Then Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Tira took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and dwelt there. So the days of Tira were two hundred and five years, and Tira died in Haran. <laughs>